All right, uh, this video is about a review on the topic 1.3, which is ROC in linear and quadratic functions, unit 1 AP pre-calculus, so let's get started. We are given a couple of uh, tables here, and we need to figure out that whether the function could be a linear, quadratic, or neither. So we know that uh, it's pretty easy to figure that out from a table, provided the x increases by the same amount, right? So uh, if x increases by the same amount, doesn't matter what that is, for example, 1 to 4 is a plus 3 unit, right? That's a plus 3. 4 to 7, plus 3. 7 to 10, plus 3. 10 to 13, plus 3. So if this happens, then we find the change of y between the successive values. Uh, that's what we call it as a first difference. And if that first difference comes out to be same, it will be a linear. If not, we will find a second difference. If the second difference comes out to be same, it will be a quadratic. And if second difference is also not same, then it will be neither. So let's do that. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4. 16 minus 8 is 8. So definitely this is not equal. Now let's take this difference. Um, remember to take the difference of like uh, latter number minus former number, although it doesn't really change anything because, uh, but again, this is for the, uh, making this habit will actually help you to answer some other questions in the later units regarding concavity, etc. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4. Definitely second difference is also not same. So this is neither. Likewise over here, yes, definitely it is increasing by the same value. So let's find the first difference. That's negative 5 minus minus 2, which is negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. Likewise, this is 0. Likewise, this is positive 3. And likewise, 4 minus of minus 2 is 6. Second difference will be 0 minus minus 3, which is 3. 3 minus 0, which is 3. 6 minus 3, which is 3. So yes, second difference is same. So this is a quadratic. <clears throat> 0, 2, 2 to 4, 6, 8. Yes, it is increasing by the same value. So first difference will be 3 minus 0, which is 3. 7 minus 3, which is 4. 12 minus 7, which is 5. 18 minus 12, which is 6. Definitely not equal. So second difference, 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1, 6 minus 5 is 1. So yes, second difference is same. So this is also a quadratic function. Uh, here we have to be very careful because 0 to 1, 1 to 4, 4 to 9, 9 to 16 is definitely not increasing by the same value. So by a careful analysis, if we try to relate x and y, don't you think that y value is always 2 greater than the x value? For example, 0 plus 2, 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 4 plus 2, 6. 9 plus 2, 11. 16 plus 2, 18. So y is equal to x plus 2. Can I say that? Because obviously it's a linear increase, right? Whatever x you put, the y value is just giving you, uh, the y value is just 2 more than that. So whatever x you put, y value is 2 more than that, which is x plus 2. You can, in fact, check it by plugging that in. If you plug in 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. Yes, y value is 6. So this is a characteristic of a linear function here. In other words, basically, I'm finding uh, the same change, right? I'm trying to find the change between the two points. Uh, we, can al we can also find the, uh, the slope between points. So slope is, will also come out to be one if you take any two pairs. So that is also a way to prove that this function is linear if the x values is not increasing by the same value. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can show you with the, with the slope method as well, of course. Uh, let's take any two points, any two you need to set of points, you need to pairs actually. Let's take this as the first pair. So the slope will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. And let's take these two points. So the slope will be 11 minus 6 over 9 minus 4, which is 5 over 5, which is also 1. So yes, definitely this is a linear function. Over here, it's an increase of 0.4. So that's good. 
Now let's subtract and find the first difference. So uh, 9 minus 12.5 is I think negative 3.5. Uh, this will be uh, negative 3.5 as well. This will be negative 3.5 as well. This will be negative 3.5 as well. So definitely this is a, a linear function. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 3, to 5, 5, to 7, 7, to 9. So yes, same increase. Uh, let's find the first difference. That is going to be 1, 3, 1 again, and 3 again. Okay. Let's find the second difference. So that's 2, negative 2, 2. Definitely it's not equal. So it's neither of linear or quadratic. Right. Uh, here the question is a little different. We need to find the value of k so that these represent quadratic functions. So uh, we know that the second difference should be equal in all, all such questions. And as we can see that X is increasing by the same value here, here, here. So we can safely apply. So the first difference is five, then three, then one, and then K minus nine. And the second difference will be negative two, negative two, and this will be K minus nine minus one. And we know that k minus 9 minus 1 should also be equal to negative 2 because the second difference must be equal. So k minus 10 should be equal to negative 2, which means that adding 10 both the sides, k is 10 minus 2, which is 8. Likewise, first difference, uh, negative 1 minus 4, negative 5, negative 4 minus minus 1, negative 3 k minus minus 4 is k plus 4. Uh, negative 4 minus k is just negative 4 minus k. Uh, second difference will be negative 3 minus of minus 5 is negative 3 plus 5, which is 2. Uh, likewise, over here, this will be k plus 4 minus minus 3. Now, I'm not really interested in finding the third one because it's given that it is quadratic, right? So I can just equate these two because all of them must be equal. So I will say that k plus 4 minus of minus 3 is plus 3 should be 2. So k plus 7 is 2. So k is negative 5. That's the answer. And finally over here, uh, the first difference is k minus minus 2, which is k plus 2. Here it is 12 minus k, here it is 4, here it is 2. And the second difference uh, from here, actually, I'll get a number. It will be minus 2. And from here, I will get, an, uh, get something in terms of k, which is uh, 4 minus 12 minus k. So I know that 4 minus 12 minus k should be equal to negative 2, which means that 4 minus 12 plus k should be negative 2 which means that negative 8 plus k is negative 2. And adding 8 both the sides, k is just 6 from here. So that should be our answer. All right, same question, but this time it's easier because this is a linear function. And all are increasing by the same amount. Oh, except, except this one, I think. This is not increasing by the same value. So we'll see about that. X is not increasing, but yeah, that's not difficult as well. So the first difference will be equal, which is going to be negative one minus of minus five, which is negative one plus five, which is four. This will be K plus one. I don't need to find the, uh, the, the next one because I know this, should, this must be equal. So K plus one must be equal to four and K should be equal to three over here. That should be our answer. Likewise here, the first difference is going to be negative two. This is K minus five. Once again, I'm not interested in the next one. So I'll just say K minus five is negative two. So K is three over here. Here we can use the slope strategy. So slope between, in fact, not even the slope, you know, you can also take these two points and these two points into consideration because zero to two is a change of two units. And 5 to 7 is also a change of two units. So between these two points, if the change is k minus 1, then between these two points as well, they should be the same change. 
Right now we are getting the change as 6. So k minus 1 should actually be 6 or k is 7. It's totally fine if you don't understand this. I will solve using the slope strategy as well. Uh, let's find the slope using these two points, which is k minus 1 over 2 minus 0. And that should be equal to the slope of any other two points, maybe this. So it will be 22 minus 16 over 7 minus 5. Right, so k minus 1, I'll just continue here. k minus 1 over 2 should be equal to 6 over 2. 2 and 2 is gone. So k should be equal to 7. Pretty much what we got earlier. So that should be our final answer, if that makes sense. Uh, over here, uh, we have to figure out, now this is what I was talking about. Now we have to find the concavity. Now you have to do the latter minus former thing. Right here, if you do the opposite way, your answer will be exactly opposite. So you don't want to do that. So let's find out. Uh, to find whether the whether it is concave up or concave down, you find the first difference. And you look at the behavior of the first difference. For example, let me solve the first one for you. Of course, the x should increase in uh, 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 with the same values, which it is increasing in all these questions, as you can see. So 3 minus 1 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3, this is 4, sorry not 4, 7 and this is 10. Now all you have to do is look at the behavior, look at, look at the way the first difference is changing. Is the first difference increasing or decreasing? I think it's increasing, right? From 2 to 3, 3 to 7, 7 to 10. So if the first difference is increasing in nature. It is concave up. Right? This is the strategy that we are going to adopt. Likewise, over here, the first difference is going to be 8, 5, 2, 1. Clearly, the numbers are decreasing, right? 8 to 5, 5 to, uh, 5 to 2, 2 to 1. So, this, since the first difference is decreasing, this is concave down. Finally, the last one. So over here, 11 minus 5 is 6. This is 3. This is 1. And this is negative 3. So obviously, 6 to 3 decreasing, decreasing. And 1 to minus 3 is also decreasing, right? Because obviously, negative 3 is a smaller number since it is negative. So here also, first derivative is decreasing. Sorry, first difference is decreasing, so it is concave down. That's how we do these questions. A uh, couple of more questions. Uh, the last three questions for concavity change. Here also, we are lucky that uh, in all the questions, uh, the x is increasing by the same value. So let's find the first difference. So here it is negative 6. This will be negative 4 negative 11 minus minus 10 is negative 1, this is 0. So clearly, the negative values are coming towards 0. In other words, negative 4 is a bigger number than negative 6, right? We know that. So this is first difference is increasing, first difference is increasing. So it is concave up. Likewise, over here, the first difference will be uh, negative 8 negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Yes, definitely the numbers are increasing here. First difference is increasing. So it is concave up. And finally, here the first difference is 20 minus 2 is negative 2, 15 minus 20 negative 5. Here it is negative 7, here it is negative 8. Clearly the numbers are getting more and more negative. So the first difference is decreasing in nature, which means that it is a concave down function, if it makes sense. Right, so that's all what we had for today.